Hey, what's up everybody? This is Richie here. We're back on the good old Richie's world. It's the first day of October. At least, it is for me when this comes out. It'll be a little bit later, but I, I don't know if I'm feeling the October thing. Halloween is definitely going to be good. We're definitely starting to feel fall in the air where I am, and you probably are too. And school is finally starting to settle down. I'm starting to get a reasonable pattern for doing things, for doing all of my homework, which means hopefully all of the recording should be settled just a little bit better. The other thing that's changed is I went and I got a brand new pair of headphones. They're really nice. They sound so great. And I think it was about time, because my other headphones were literally in two pieces. One of them had broken off, so I was basically just, like, sort of holding them to my head while talking. And, I mean, that, that didn't really work all that well for playing and recording. But my new pair is really nice. It sounds very smooth, very natural. The only problem I've been having is the noise canceling like a little foamy thing is actually so good that I can't hear myself talk. So right now I sort of have them over one ear and like half over the other, but I'll experiment with other things. What I might do is run a um an audio line into my speakers so that essentially I'm hearing my mic input, which sounds a little weird but, like, it's important to be able to hear yourself while you're recording, or else, at, at least to me, my voice always sounds just a little bit off. The other big fun piece of news on my channel is that we just hit 400 subscribers. Actually, I think as of this recording, we are at, like, 398 but unless, like, my channel gets forgotten or the zombie apocalypse happens or something, by the time this is released, we should have 400. And that, it, it doesn't seem like a lot in terms of YouTube, but I have to remind myself just, just what these numbers are, just how big they are. Because, like, I think there are 500 people in my entire school, like, grades kindergarten through senior year of high school and the idea that 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 many people stop in and want to watch my videos it, it's really cool and I'm really thankful for that I am though seeing a little bit of slumping in my channel statistics everything is like just a little bit slower and I've dropped a, a, a significant amount of views but I'm going to guess that that is everybody going back to school? Because the problem with school is that you're busy and you watch a whole lot less YouTube. I mean, even me, like when I was thinking about this, I was normally watching a lot of YouTube per day. And since school started, I usually watch maybe one or two videos. So that's that's probably the logical explanation. I've heard YouTube's changing like a few things with the recommendation box, but I don't think that's going to have as big of an impact as a situation that affects practically every kid in the world. And everybody in the audience, everybody watching this video, give me a nice slow clap. Because this entire build was built on the wrong height. I was supposed to build a three-wide gap, and I built a two-wide gap, meaning that no spy slimes can spawn in that layer, and I'm just gonna have to rebuild it. And we fixed it. We also added another layer right up here, which should increase slimes substantially. At this point, since we only have a few layers, you have three layers, you add another one, all of a sudden you have, what, 25% more slime spawns? Something like that. And since this thing will only have, like, maybe 10 or 12 platforms, the more we can add, the more we're adding to this build. But I think that's all the platforms I'm gonna add for now, especially since we can barely even get to this one. It's um, gone past the point that this cave goes up to, so before we do any of that, I'm going to dig the channels on this side that will make this slime farm automatic. Because right now we're just running around killing them. 
And that's not what they want. We want them to be able to fall into little pits, and then they're going to be sorted by a water stream, and we're probably going to put them through lava or something so that they catch on fire, they burn, and we collect their drops. But before we move on to our next project, I'm just going to run back and summon in an extra wave of slimes. They, they spawn almost all the time now, mostly because we have so many platforms, it's pretty hard for them not to. But we got this guy right here, who's not really doing that much for us. Yep, we've got a large slime here on layer 2, which we should be able to deal with fairly quickly. And nothing on layer 3... Maybe something on layer four, no. And nothing on any of the other layers. So we're gonna run back down here. We're gonna grab some resources. Oh, hello there, mini slime. We're gonna go outside and build something that vaguely resembles Autumn because I have a few ideas I wanna put in place. Now, if there's a place in all of my world that feels like Autumn, it's probably this swamp area right here, mostly because it's sort of that fading brown grass. The trees are a little bit too dark for my taste, and it, it, it gives the sense that everything still has life, but at the same time is dying. It's sort of that dark green yellowish grass, and we don't really have that much here. I, in fact, I don't think I've ever built anything here besides this tiny tiny tent and that that takes me way back i remember when we first had our dog in minecraft we built this tent with the dog and i think in that episode if i'm right and i am usually right that poor poor dog had its last day let's see if we can get to the monument over there i completely forgot about all that um but a boom but a boom but a boom Oh, that makes me sad now. So either either the fall Halloween themed build is going to be here or in this this cozy flower forest area next to the exponentially unfinished church. Um we already have this tower here and we've never built that much around here. I mean that said we don't have all that much space. We have a a wall right there and our big monstrosity sticking up out of the ground here. But I think, yeah, I think we can cram a few nice builds in here that make me feel like fall and Halloween. Um, For the Halloween final objective, I do want to have some sort of a spooky maze, like maybe with hedges or something. And I'm going to need lots of materials for that. But the first thing I think I'm going to do is go up here and fix some terrain up. Do a little bit of terraforming because it's really gone to the Enderman over here. They uh, sort of just took everything over. We haven't ever had time to take it back. So you know what? I'll do it now. And we're back. A few changes have happened. I mostly just went around and plugged holes. But we opened up a little bit of river that wasn't quite open before. Let me jump over there really quick. Yeah, this area did not use to be open. You can tell it didn't used to be open because the water hasn't filled in there. So at some point in this episode, as long as I don't forget, I'll grab some buckets. I'll fill that in. But while, while messing around with terrain, I got some ideas. First of all, we're going to have an area that connects to the river, meaning we're going to take out a chunk of this wall right here and build an arch over it so that we have like a, a centralized trade area of this little town we're making over this area right here and as you can see the river flows pretty much all the way into our base and ends right around the time it hits the wall this whole area right here is completely screwed up i'll have to do something here eventually but for now we're just going to ignore that and i'm thinking in our little fall like village which will eventually lead to some sort of catacombs um the center of the town is going to be built in this valley and i might dig out this valley a little more 
You can see I haven't been around here that often. There's a lot of creeper damage. There's a lot of enderman damage. But I I'm thinking we have like some shops and stuff here to mostly cover up that big white wall. And then we have like trails going all around, going up to there, just weaving around this mountain. And then somewhere in here we have a couple of stone arches. Maybe one arch is a bridge going from here over to here, and that also serves as the bridge over this river. And the other arch is built into this hill, and underneath it we have a passage to, to a bunch of mazes and catacombs and spooky, spooky scary things. And if, if I do everything right, I want to have part of this catacomb system actually be an outdoor maze. So maybe we cut through that hill, it winds around and comes out like somewhere down there. And that's where our maze is. Or if we wanted to make this really big, we could uh, have something that comes out there. But I'm not really sure. I have to get building before I can decide really how anything is going to work. So I'm going to go down to my base. I'm going to grab some stone brick. I'm going to fix that enderman hole that I somehow missed. And then we'll start this thing. So 30 minutes have passed. 30 wonderful, tiresome minutes. And in those 30 minutes, I have produced a bridge. This is why I never end up doing that much creative building. Don't get me wrong, I love it. And when I say creative building, I don't mean building in creative mode. I mean just like doing freeform things, designing, building out. And I do love it, but I always feel so unproductive when I'm doing it. Like, I could have finished our slime farm in 30 minutes, but instead, I have this bridge. It's a wonderful, beautiful, amazing bridge, but it always surprises me just how much thought it takes to build this. You build a little bit, you tear some down. You build a little bit, you tear some down. You redesign everything. And after a long, long time, you have a pretty nice-looking bridge. But the thing is, we're going to have to have structures like this all over this valley, all over this entire section of land. And that is going to take quite a long time. So you know what I think? Oh, I just fell down onto my lovely bridge. Look at this bridge. Look how nice it is. Look at how I meant to do that. So you know what I think I'm going to do now? I'm going to try to smooth some of this area out, maybe add a staircase or some natural looking path that goes up to there, and maybe maybe a platform that connects up to here, maybe edges on this bridge that make it look like it goes into land on each side. I might thin out the amount of trees just a little bit to make some extra space, but after I do that, then we'll do just a little bit of detail building. And we're back. We've created little bits of edges on both sides of the bridge so it blends in a staircase and a path that goes up right by here and then all the way to the gravestone of my beloved dog. I need to go check how long ago that was because it feels pretty old. I haven't been around here for a while. You know, it was probably the episode when we built this watchtower which was I don't I don't even know how far back that was but we've done we've done a decent job this I was going for like a crumbled foundation but it turned out a little more like a five-year-old on heavy drugs trying to design a sculpture of Mickey Mouse that that's a pretty accurate description yeah I'm gonna touch this up a little at some point but for now it's okay and we have this nice staircase going up We'll have the entrance to whatever catacombs we make somewhere around right here. We'll have some shops, especially alongside there, to mask that wall a little bit. We'll have like a mini harbor in here, and I'm excited for that, and everything seems pretty great. But for now, we're going to do some detail building. And as far as I know, there are three ways to make things spooky in Minecraft. Maybe four. Pumpkins? Wheat and cobwebs. Maybe you could go for like a, a little bush effect, which I'm probably going to do at some point because bushes make everything look better. Literally every build in Minecraft can be improved by adding bushes 
But I think I'm going to start, if I can find some sort of an open space, by just planting a, a little bit of wheat alongside our path here. Just because when it grows up, it looks very cool. It looks very full. It, it covers a lot of detail. And it, it just feels harvesty. Because I guess it's a it's a product that you harvest. But let's like grow some in here. Don't even know if that will grow. Don't even know if we have enough light. But we'll do it anyway and just sort of spread it around this area. And I have absolutely no clue how that's going to look when it grows up. If it looks horrible, so what? I'll get rid of it. It took me around 30 seconds to build. The other thing I'm going to do, as I've probably already specified, is just throw some pumpkins down near the wheat. It shouldn't look that bad, and it should add a little bit of a light and a little bit of festiveness to our area. Can you call Halloween festive? Is that a thing you can do? Uh, okay, pumpkin right here, pumpkin right here, pumpkin here, and you know what? We're just going to line the paths with pumpkins because they provide light and they look cool. And last but definitely not least, we mustn't forget a few cobwebs here and there to add the spooky abandoned feeling to our little builds. I think I'm going to start decorating things seasonally, especially just when I have the time. So, like, we'll put some snow on our bigger builds for Christmas. We'll put some, like, cobwebs on our bigger builds for Halloween. It's not something that should take too long, and it's, it's something that should look nice and creative. Inevitably, I'm never going to maintain it. It's not going to work out. But uh, we'll always have a decoration of some season, hopefully. So let's let's just spread a few cobwebs there. You know, let's let's glide down. We don't have our electron. on. <clears throat> let's swim down to our little bit of cabin. I don't know actually why I swam here because we've got a bed all the way back there. But I suppose this is just as good a place to end as anyone else. It is pretty late outside at my house. It is getting about time to upload a Richie's World. So obviously, I have to stop right here, go edit this one, and upload it so all of your wonderful faces can see it. So if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, thank you for 405 subscribers. And until the next time, guys. Is there a skeleton down there? Uh, I want to do something cool with skeleton. Um, And until the next time, guys. This has been Richie. And I'm out. I'll see ya.